Teresa, I know. I know I've hurt you in the past. I've never meant it. I just... Things happen. I know. And there's no point of rehashing that. I know that. It's, it's history. And I don't have a right to tell you what to do with your life. You don't. But just hear me. Fox is no good. Teresa is a cat. He's a womanizer. And he's a gambler. And there's no way he's ever going to treat you well. He treats me very well. He's putting on an axe. You don't know him the way I know him. He doesn't respect women. And he's too much like his father. You know how Julian is with women, right? Yes, but Ethan, he's always been a perfect gentleman with me. It's not real. It's not real. I'm telling you. He's always playing an angle. I want to make Ethan so crazy with jealousy that all he'll do is think about getting me back. Come on, that's kind of a tall order, don't you think? No, 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 no. All I get to do is pretend like you're in love with me and that, and that I'm the only girl in your heart. What do you say? You're wrong, Ethan. Fox cares about me. And he told me he did. And, you know, maybe it's time I give someone else a chance to mean something to me. I don't, I don't want to be a nag about this, okay? You know, I'm married to Gwen. I'm expecting a child, and I can't just leave her. Okay. Well, if that's the way you feel, I want you to be happy. So, um, if you and I aren't going to be together, then you have to be happy for me, too. Teresa, you're not going to be happy with him. Well, then I would like to figure that one out for myself. You know, and from what I hear, He's a fantastic lover. Teresa, come on. Wait. Damn it. When are you going to realize that Fox is not the guy that you and Whitney think he is?